All right, folks, thank you very much for tuning into this video. I've had a couple of requests for this one throughout my social media channels and a couple of my um, original review of this Imperial Crosshair. And since I got, since I did the review, I actually replaced the uh, shoulder pauldrons with the, uh, you know, the Bad Batch style ones that he came with, which, you know, in the end were not entirely accurate. I've seen a couple of people use different things, different ways. Um, I managed to get a hold of an old bootleg uh, Black Series uh, Black Stormtrooper. They were out there a few years ago. Um, and yeah, I'll basically just use that. So, best thing is that you can sort of just see under the shoulder. That's where I've sliced off the original pads because they were sort of joined at a joint in the shoulder and they sort of just sort of stuck out and flapped over. So once I'll remove them, um, don't need to worry about what's inside because it's not in the way at all. But yeah, simply sort of took the old pauldron off, the old Stormtrooper, and uh, yeah, basically just sort of glued it to the outer arm here on each side, and then a little bit on the shoulder just so, you know, you can still get a little bit of movement there to sort of come up. So it'll still sort of flex out a little bit, um, depending on how much you glue it. I've seen some people get the uh, get an extra new Stormtrooper and just paint up the uh, shoulder black, which works well. It's a little bit more refined in terms of like the, uh, the stripe there on the shoulder. It's a little bit more, a little bit of a better shape to it, whereas these ones were sort of cast in a you know reasonably soft, much like the original Stormtroopers. Like I can't tell the difference between the bootleg and the original so and I've misplaced it so it's probably out in the shed somewhere now um, <laughs> so yeah basically just just wanted to share that quick little video um, you know just because of the fact that it wasn't super accurate but you know now it looks now I'm happy with it and it really didn't cost that much to do um, so yeah have another look online check out Aliexpress that's that's generally where I get my bits and pieces from, cheap figures for, for bootlegs and stuff like that. It's been a long time since I got one. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how how much there will be or whether they'll actually be on there, but it's worth having a look. Um, and yeah, if you can get a hold of a new Stormtrooper, really cheap, you know, there's, there's plenty of ways to do this. The other thing I did was get a small little square piece of plastic from another figure, cut it to the shape of the, uh, the hole that was in the arm because they're still using the same arm with the uh, hunter figure that had the knife sort of sheath there and they never sort of filled it in so they just left an, a gaping hole there for the, for the holster. Um, so yeah, I filled that in in both, both of my different crosshairs now. That's a case of literally going through my accessories box, finding something that matches colour-wise, and I just I just glued that in. So that was that was a nice easy fix, and uh, you know it kind of just looks like a wrist communicator now, or a little something or other. It's better than having a hole. And uh, yeah, the other little tweak I did was I glued the belt on. I just found the spot where I wanted it, I sort of put a spot of glue underneath the buckle and around on the, no, I didn't on the back actually. It's just been a little bit on the front side there. Yeah, so it still gets a little bit, it doesn't hinder any movement, so that's that's good. But uh, yeah, the, the holster sort of belt does move. I thought I glued it on the back, but that might've been something else. But just cause it does wriggle around, it's a little bit loose. With the other crosshair, he had the sort of strap over the shoulder as well. So that kind of sat nicely. Um, but yeah, this one is a little bit wobbly. And, uh, yeah, this this piece doesn't really like holding in there at all on this figure. It's a little bit loose there in the in the side of the backpack, but not a big deal. All right, guys, I just want to share that quick little video with you. Hope that helps with any inquiries as to uh, how I put this together. You know, it's, it's a pretty simple fix. Um, 
needs you know need a nice look nice sharp craft knife be careful just slicing off those shoulder pads you can sort of see right into that joint and it's it's quite easy to do um, if I ever do something again I'll, I'll do a video while I do it just um, yeah it didn't even cross my mind this time so thank you very much for watching please like comment subscribe rate all that sort of stuff hit the notification bell and uh, won't miss out in any future videos so thank you very much for watching until then May the force be with you, always.